afternoon, Andrew. Hello, sir. Everything out of control? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, it's half an hour before the guests are due. Well, I wanted to make sure I was here in time to greet them. Well, you've certainly done them proud with this place. Talk about five-star treatment. Well, I wanted to make it a date, I remember. Is, um, Jeffrey Allison definitely coming? Yes, sir. I think the best plan is to make sure he's got absolutely nothing to complain about. He'll find something. Mr. Allerton! Are you sure this is the right house? Yeah. And he knew what time we were coming? Well, can't we just go down to the club? The hotel's very nice. But it's not local, is it, dear? Wedding reception. Seems like they're enjoying themselves. Glad someone is. How did they end up having their tea dance here then? Mr. Brownlow knows a manager. It's a shame he couldn't get a hotel to do the catering, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing wrong with his sandwiches. Yeah, except there won't be many left if you keep on nicking them. Don't the pensioners usually have their dance at the club? Well, not after last year. What happened? They all got rather nasty. How can a tea dance get nasty? This retired copper called Allerton started an argument and they all got out of hand. There were complaints to Mr. Brown over like six months. Any chance of a hang? Sorry, Reg, we're on sandwiches. Oh, look, I've got a load more gear in the car. Can't you wave your magic wand? Oh, they're very funny, yeah. Now, look, you lot, I'm going to leave all this stuff in here, right? And I don't want you messing about with it. Whose idea was it to let Reg do his magic show? Reg. Before Mr. Brown, I wanted to make sure there were no disasters this year. Yes, Mike, he does. Sorry, sir. Reg has put a lot of hard work into this afternoon. I know that some of you look upon this as a sort of chore, but the widows and the pensioners look forward to it, and I'm expecting 110% effort. Shut sir, sir. sir. Where are the cakes? I haven't seen any, sir. Well, they're supposed to have been delivered. Tony, would you mind nipping out and finding out what's happened? Sir. All right, carry on. Sir. sir. Oh, sorry. I'm Mooney. Yes? I'm the standing guitarist, man. What, for the pensioners? Yeah, that's right. Oh, right. Well, the band's in now. That's cool. Here we are, then. About time, too. So, Brownlow, we're here. Oh, I need some help. That's a beautiful hotel, isn't it? Looks like a hospital. Wait, you know, wait till you see inside. Well, it was like this, I'd have worn my other coat. <laughs> Hello, Doris. Hello. Dorothy, lovely to see you again. Hello, John. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Where's, um, Geoffrey Allison? Well, there was no answer at his house, sir. Oh. I've spoken to the bakery, sir. They thought we were picking up the cakes. Oh, dear. Look, um, take my car, will you, and pick them up. It's, uh, over there. Right, sir. Right. What are you going to do about Jeffrey Allerton? Well, that was him on the phone, wanted to know why he hasn't been collected. Well, he wasn't there, sir. We went back twice. I told him you'd get him on the next trip. Well, that's going to make us late, sir. We're supposed to be doing the people who live nearer the hotel on this run. Oh, look, why don't we kill two birds with one stone? Tony's picking the cakes up. He can pick Allerton up on the way back. Look, would you mind popping out and telling us? Sir. Andrew? Why is nobody showing our guests where to go? Um... Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, if you'd like to follow me. This way, please. Hello there. This way, through there. Hello. Go there, please. Oh, you all right, Reg? Oh, yeah. Just... Where's Tony going? He got time off for good behaviour. Do you want a hand? Oh, uh, well, yeah. Could you uh, yeah. go back? Oh, sorry. No, that's all right. That's very good, actually. Yeah, you know I'm looking for someone to help me with my magic hacks. No. No, but it doesn't involve sawing you off or nothing. I don't care what it involves. Ask someone else. Good afternoon. Right, Hello. 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 Right, uh, this is our room. Where's the dance floor? Well, we thought we'd have the dancing at the other end of the room. On the carpet? Yes. We've got a proper dance floor at the club. Three quarters of an hour I've been waiting. 
There was no one home when the minibus came, Miss Rallison. I was in the garden. I suppose going round to the back door would be too much to expect. Well, no next time. Uh, no excuse for that kind of sloppiness. Who was driving the minibus? Dave Quinnan. Dave Quinnan. I'll have a word with him. Your fuel warning lights on. Yeah. Are you going to stop for petrol? No, there should be enough. Oh, you better not let it run too low. Tell Mr Brownlow. It's his car. What are you doing? I've got to collect some cakes that weren't delivered. Oh! Yeah, what's the name? Can you turn the radio on? to the amount of After the guests. Uh, sorry, Mr. Man, the uh, rabbit keeps trying to leg it. Reg! Where's the car? What? Where's Mr. Brownlow's car? I thought you'd moved it. Could I? I was in the shop. You mean it's been nicked? I believe this. Where were you? I was getting some tobacco. You left the car open with the keys in the ignition. You left the keys. I left you with you them. You should have been watching the vehicle. I couldn't see it. Neither could I. I don't... Forget it. Look, hold on to these and stay there. Where are you going? Phone the nick. You're not half going to get some stick for this. And whose fault's that? Well, it all seems to be going rather well, Andrew. Jeff Allerton hasn't got it here. Oh. Well, I wonder what's happened to Stamp. I'll see if I can find out. Thanks. Reg, what are you doing? Oh, well, there's a lady who wants an egg sandwich. Yeah, no cress. The trouble is, all these have got cress in them. Well, why not take the cress out? Oh, I'm sorry. Right. What if I give the cress to the rabbit? No. I told you. Leave the rabbit alone. Well, there must be something you can do. What could Bart Street get anyone down here? You don't seem to understand. It is an emergency. All right, all right. Look, just one more thing. Don't tell Brownlow yet. Thanks. Andrew, did you find out what happened to Stout? No, sir. There was um, no answer from um, Allerton's house. He must be on the way back. You remind me of my husband. I found a witness. Great. Woman at the bus stop. Where is she? Our oh, bus came. You let her go? I couldn't let her stay without a warrant card, could I? Well, you could have asked her to... But look, I got her name, your eldest. She said a 14-year-old boy went up to the car, had a good look round, then got in and drove off. I don't believe this is happening to me. Most of the kids around here go to Gatley School. Would you like me to check, see if anybody there knows who this lad is? Gatley School closed down two years ago. Oh, where do they go now then? You don't need to know that. You're going to a tea dance. Oh, we're going to look for the car? I thought you were supposed to be a copper, aren't you? You're supposed to be at a tea dance. And how am I supposed to get there? I can't believe I'm doing this. Neither can I. We should be finding the car. I'll put the index out. What else we can do? Well, we could look for it. Do you know what the chances are of finding a stolen car? Not good. You don't bother looking. Is that it? What? Look. Yes. Yeah, it is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where do you think you're going? I'm going with you. No, 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 you stay on the bus. You're no, going to that door. What the hell? If you really want to help, there's something you can do. What? Make sure Brownlow doesn't find out about this. And deliver those cakes. You can rely on me. 
Oh, sorry, madam. Stop the bus, please, mate. Set the door, mate. Right? Please. I'm sorry, love, I need this cab. Follow that rover on the low loader. I've waited all year for someone to say that. in a minute. Any chance of making him disappear, Reg? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Will you kindly take your partners now, please, for a waltz? <laughs> Biscuits. Come on, Catherine! Come on, you did. You too. Oh, I just need five minutes away from being told how the job's gone soft since pace. What about you? Well, so far, it's three of them have told me I remind them of their husbands. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm fighting them off, mate. Excuse me. What am I fighting her off? Where do we go wrong, Dave? Oi! When are you going to give me a hand? What's the problem, sir? Well, these are for the tea dance. Are you one of the guests? Geoffrey Allerton. Oh, yeah, uh, Mr. Brownlow's waiting for you. I'll let him know you're here. Uh, no need for that. You just sort these cakes out. Dance is just down there. Right. Jeffrey! I'll be with you in a minute. What are you all doing out here? Excuse me. Charles, we haven't had our dance yet. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to it. Maybe a little later. I'm sure Dave here would love to dance with you. Well, I, I just got to take these through. Come on, Charles. Cheers. Never forget a face. Kevin Westlake. Kevin who? Westlake. The armed blacker. Oh, well, he's going to steal some bog roll, has he? Who's in charge here this afternoon? Chief Superintendent Brownlow. Oh, I can't deal with him. Um, isn't there an inspector? Yeah, Inspector Munro. Right, I'll get him. Now, you wait here. And don't let Westlake out. That's all I've got on me. Mate, if I had a pamper every time I've heard that, I'd be a rich man. Got a fair, haven't you? Yeah, just a bat. What's the problem, Geoffrey? This gormless waste of space. He's just passed up the chance of nicking Kevin Westlake. Who's Kevin Westlake? Kevin Westlake, the Elkett Street bullion robbery. When was that? 1973. 1973? Westlake was part of a gang. But he had it on his dancers and he's been holed up in Spain ever since. Then uh, what's he doing here? I don't know. You're sure it's him? Of course I'm sure. Well, what are you going to do? Well, thank you for letting me know. Uh, I'll deal with it. Well, never mind dealing with it. Aren't you going to nick him? Look, isn't it time that great soft lads like him stop poncing about with trays of sandwiches and did some real police work? If they do, I'll take the decision and not you. Uh, why don't you go back to the tea dance? How much longer is he going to be? Couldn't say. But where is he? He's here. Uh, did you get a message from Sergeant Lamont, Sunil? About the Rover 820, illegally parked on a double red. It wasn't parked, it was nicked. Whose car is it? My chief superintendent's. His private car? Yeah. I'd better phone it for clearance first. Uh, no, no, there's no need for you to do that. Oh, all right, if you want to pay the fine for him. What? 120 quid plus VAT. To you, 140. I haven't got any money on me. You take plastic. I haven't got that with me either. Look, please, can you just let me have the car? Had you go in there, didn't I? <laughs> what? Car's in the first row. Get yourself at it out of here before I change my mind. 
very funny. Are you Mr. Allison? Yes. Oh, well, uh, Rex Hollis. Um, I'm looking for someone to uh, help me with my magic act. And a colleague of mine, uh, Dave Quinnan, he said it might be right up your street. Helping you with your magic act? Yeah, it's just the, you know. This is your idea of a joke, I suppose. No. Well, then it must be his. Hmm. Yeah, well, it could be. He's a bit of a wind-up merchant. And, of course, I get it all the time, you know, since I was fed rep. Well, you're a fed rep, are you? Yeah, well, I was, yeah, but I packed it all in, you know, they start to take you for grounds after a while. You don't have to tell me. Oh. Jeffrey Allerton. I remember seeing your name on all the old correspondence. I thought it rang a bell. Jeffrey! Good to see you. <laughs> we seem to keep missing each other. <laughs> Tony Sam picked you up all right, did he? Yes, thank you. Good. You uh, don't happen to know where he is now. Never mind about that. What are you doing about Westlake? Who's Westlake? I'm not going through all that again. Ask Inspector Munro. I've got to help Reg with his tricks. Could you have a word with Mr. Munro, please, sir? Now? Yeah, he's uh, in the lobby. Right. Uh, you might find that that comes in handy. Andrew. Jeffrey Allison thinks he saw Kevin Westlake in the toilets. <laughs> Is that a problem? And Westlake took part in an armed robbery in 1973. The Knicks just faxed us over. I've checked. He's still wanted on warrant. And he's walked into a hotel full of coppers. It's been a long time. Maybe he thought nobody would recognise him. Are you sure it's Westlake? The manager thinks Westlake is the bride's grandfather. And nobody but Jeffrey's seen him? No, sir, um, but he's certain it's Westlake. Well, we need somebody to take a look at him. Though obviously we don't want to let him know he's been spotted. You're the only one not in uniform, sir. There's no petrol. He's back. The car's run out of petrol. Oh, that's lucky, really, isn't it? I mean, if it hadn't, the bloke who nicked it would have had it ring by now. I haven't got any money on me. Oh, dear. Couldn't lend me ten quid, could you? And a petrol can. Please? <laughs> <laughs> My lovely granddaughter getting married. And this is not your traditional family wedding in any way. Because Carly tells me she isn't pregnant. Look at the one that tried. Here. Who let him in? Now, let's be serious just for a minute. I need a wheelie. <laughs> no, it's definitely him. What do you suggest we do? Arrest him? It's not that simple. We're supposed to be running a party. We can't just pull everybody out. Well, Reg is going to be doing his stuff in a minute. I guess you'll be watching that, and none of our lot will be needed in there. And that should give us a window of about 15 minutes to make the arrest. Recky, the exit's from the room, and let me know if you need any backup. And then run the whole thing past me before you go ahead. Sir? And Andrew, Jeffrey Allerton is not to be involved in any way at all. Sir? While I'm doing the trick with the balls, you get the rabbit out of the carrier and put him into the hat. And you don't forget, not too early, because he don't like it. Do this, like, often, do you? Well, no, not really, but, uh, well, you've got to show William, haven't you? Make them feel as though they're wanted. Ah, but they're not wanted, are they? I mean, you finish your service. They can't get rid of you fast enough. Mm. Yeah, well, of course, the job's changed a lot, you know, since you were in it. Uh, you're better a fan of it, then. Oh, I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please put your hands together and welcome Mr. Reginald Hollis. Thank you. Oh, well, what should I have it done by, sir? Ah, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd all like to take your seats, the show will continue quite... To take your seats, the uh, show will... Yeah, so here we are, then without uh, further... Oh! <laughs> well, luckily, I'm a bit of an old boy scout, so of course I... <laughs> oh, madam, uh, would you like a bunch of flowers? Pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Can you let me have it back at the end? Because it's the only bunch I've got. Oh. What's going sir? on, sir? All right, all right. Be quiet. Ah, oh, sir. All right, now oh, listen. I've spoken to the hotel manager and promised him that we're going to make this arrest with a minimum amount of disruption. Now, rather than going in mob-handed, it would be better if you could speak to Westlake. As I'm not in uniform? Yes, sir. And what if he tries to leg it? We'll have people on all the doors. I just need time to get in position. Well, if I make the arrest, you're going to have to watch Reggie's magic show. Would you hold that for me? In yeah. your hand there? Yeah. Just till later? Thank yeah. you very much. Be back in a moment. The rabbit's next. <laughs> Now then, sir. Sorry. I seem to remember I asked you to help me earlier. I gave you one ball ass you holding it. Have you still got it there? Yes, sir. Can you open your hand very slowly when I tap it and see what we've got inside? Oh, there are in fact two. Uh, 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 now, uh, Mr. Uh, Monroe. Reg. Would, would you like to hold my balls? One in each hand. There we are. If I can give you that one in there. Whoops. Uh, that one in there. Put that one in there. Now then, we uh, tap your left hand, see what we've got opening slowly for me, and there are two balls once again. And we tap the, uh, tap the right hand and see what we have in there. Open it slowly for me, Mr. Monroe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine balls. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the bridesmaids and mum and dad. We're ready, sir. And Sharon and Charlie. Right. And all of you for making this such a brilliant day. But most of all, I want to thank my granddad. Oh. Because without him, we'd never have had a Nobody rabbit. Nobody's seen a rabbit. You can't go in this. What? There's a rabbit under. There's one more thing. If you stay in the disco and you want to get changed, we've got room Could for I have a word? Who are you? Thank you all for Chief coming. Superintendent Brownlow, Sun Hill Police. Married life. And I removed the handkerchief to reveal. What do you think you're doing? There's a warrant out for Mr. Wesley. You don't have to do it now. I'm very sorry. Sorry? This is my wedding. This was supposed to be my day. Well, mine hasn't exactly gone to plan either. And I don't want none of this on the video. Spartacus. Spartacus. You looking for this? Yeah. Huh. Oh. Where have you been, eh? Don't ask. I suppose there's any tea left, is there? Parched. What's happened? Don't worry, he's not one of us. Oh, Tony, you're here at last. Jeffrey here has had a very busy afternoon. I think the least we can do is give him a lift home. Would you mind running him back in my car?